in here. I just wanted to do a real quick tutorial on the swept boss base feature and the swept cut feature. Um, and so basically what you need for these features is you're going to need two sketches. You're going to need a profile and a path. Uh, so the easiest way to explain this is just to show you guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and create our um, profile first. So I'm going to sketch on the top plane. I'm just going to make a simple circle. Um, and basically what your profile is, it's just what you, you, what you want to sweep along the path. So in this case, it's a circle. Uh, and then for the path, we want to choose a plane that's going to be um, perpendicular to this. So um, we can go ahead and choose the right plane in this instance. And we'll sketch on that and go normal to it. Um, zoom out here. And then one of the important things to note when you are um, doing using the swept feature is that you want your um, path to start at the same point um, or at, at least one of the points along this line um, in of your profile. Otherwise, sometimes the, the, the swept feature gets a little bit unhappy and um, won't create the geometry. So we'll just go ahead and start right here in the middle for um, this example. And we'll just make a super simple curve um, just like that. And then we can exit the sketch. And what that gave us is a sketch of a circle and a sketch of a curve. So now we can come over here to the features and you can see swept boss base is now illuminated. So we can click on it there. Um, and it already selected sketch 25 as our path because we had it selected. Um, and now it's asking us for a profile. And so for the profile, you can either click on the circle or you can expand the design tree and click on um, sketch 24. But um, as you can see, um, in the preview, what it basically does is just takes your circle and it moves it along the path um, to create this um, really weird shape geometry. You can you can create really interesting things with this feature, um, but pretty self-explanatory there. There's a few options that I want to go over, but I'm going to do it in a little bit more complicated example. So I'm actually just going to cancel this and I'm going to delete these sketches um, and do a more complicated example. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch on the front plane and I'm just going to do um, two circles and I'm going to make them fairly small. I'm going to do a linear sketch pattern, um, which I'll teach you guys about in a later video. Um, but so I have my two circles there and then I'm going to exit the sketch and now I'm going to create a path for them. So um, I come to sketch. So that was on the, um, the front plane. So now I want to sketch on the top plane. Select my sketch. I'm going to go normal two just to make it easier. Um, and then I'm just going to do a straight line because again, the path doesn't have to be a curve, it just has to be some sort of path that your profile is going to follow. So I'm just going to do a straight line, dimensions don't really matter, um, exit the sketch, and now we have our profiles and our path. Um, and so we come to features again, swap to boss base, uh, and so we select our profile. You can just select one of the circles and it will automatically select them both since they're in the same sketch uh, and then the path. And so as you can see, um, with the default values checked there, it basically just gives us two cylinders because it runs these circles in a straight line just like the path is. Um, but that's not exactly what I wanted. So I come over here to the options menu and there's really only one thing that I want to teach you guys right now. Um, you know, you can use some of these others when you get into more complicated things, but the only one I ever really use is twist along path, which is actually um, really cool. You can define it by degrees, radians, or turns. So I'm going to do turns. I'm just going to say I wanted to do um, two revolutions along the path, or actually um, 1.75 revolutions along the path. Um, and then, so as you can see, um, the preview updates, and now it's twisting along the path. So we can select that green check mark. Um, and now you, you have kind of this um, double helix shape that kind of looks like DNA. You can make it into DNA if you wanted. Uh, this helps to pr produce really cool um, geometries, uh, really helpful for certain situations. I've actually used this to make really realistic looking wires before for um, uh, el electronic components. So really helpful. We're going to go ahead and delete that. And then I'm just going to show you the swept cut feature. Um, and so for the swept cut feature, uh, very intuitive, you know, just like the um, swept boss base feature, 
but in this instance, uh, instead of creating geometry, we're going to be removing geometry by sweeping a profile along a path. Um, so I'm just going to create a simple little uh, rectangular prism here using the extrude feature that I um, taught you guys in my earlier video. Uh, and now I'm just going to use the swept cut feature to actually cut into it. So I'm going to select the top face here and I'm going to sketch on it. And I'm going to sketch a curve. Um, really doesn't matter how the curve is, just um, sometimes you can't get too wild with your curves because um, you can't have your path intersect or you can't have your profile intersect itself along the path. So um, try not to be too steep with your curves, but other than that, you have freedom to pretty much do whatever. Uh, but like I mentioned, you want the profile and the path to um, you want the path to start at some point along the profile, just so it doesn't get messed up. Um, and as you can see, we don't really have a plane that would allow us to sketch that um, easily. So what we're going to do is actually create a new plane, and this is really helpful for this tool. You just come to Reference Geometry and Plane, uh, and then we select two references. The first is the endpoint that you want to um, sketch from, and then the second is the curve itself. And this just creates a plane that's perpendicular to the end of the curve that we can sketch on really easily. Uh, and so we come to the Sketch Toolbar, uh, we select Sketch, and now we can just um, go ahead and sketch on this plane. And so I'll just sketch, you know, a basic circle just like that. And um, we'll go ahead and exit the sketch. And now we can come to the Features Toolbar and select Swept Cut. Um, SolidWorks selects that for me as my profile, and I just need to select my path, which is um, this curve right here. So now we just come to the swept cut um, feature right here. And as you can see, it already selected my profile for me. So now I just need to select a path. So I just select this curve right here. Um, and the preview comes up just like that. And we go ahead and select this green check mark um, to select that. And then it's hard to tell from this angle, but um, you know it actually did cut all the way through. And I'll go ahead and show you a section view just to um, prove it to you guys. So, um, you know, as you can see, it is cutting through the material. Um, pretty cool. We can actually move this and see um, where it's cutting. But basically, it just ran that circle through the object. Um, really useful for creating a lot of um, complex geometries um, and taking away certain, certain aspects of geometries that you don't want. Um, but, you know, that is the swept boss base feature and the swept cut feature both very useful uh, i hope this video was helpful please subscribe and watch all the other videos thank you